let's also put this on unbridled. So uh, walking on the wild side. Oh, unbridled got some kick to it. You'll like this. <laughs> Dang! Do y'all feel that is acceleration? Yeah. When you take your feet off the pedal, it breaks automatically. How y'all feel about that? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know how. Oh my God! Tell me, just tell me, tell me how you live it, how you get it, how you live it, how you get it. What's up y'all, so I'm in the market for a new vehicle, um, mainly because my current vehicle has 330,000 miles. What? <laughs> So I'm thinking about getting an electric vehicle um, mainly because of my love of um, electric bikes. You know, you can see I have an electric bike in the background here that I'm going to review soon. But there's no greater feeling of being able to charge your vehicle from your home and then hit the streets in your vehicle. Like I like that. That got me in the market for electric cars. So this is going to be a series where I review electric cars. The first electric car I'm going to review is a 2002. Um, Ford Mustang Mach-E don't know which Mach-E I'm gonna review I think they have three different types uh, thank you to the folks of uh, Town East Ford I'm gonna leave their inventory in the description below friendly staff so far real friendly staff so thanks in advance for letting me come and test ride this Mach-E I know nothing about electric vehicles um, I am curious on like how does it work if you want to go on a long bike ride let's say you want to I mean bike ride. Bruh. How does the electric vehicle work when you're going on a really long ride? Like let's say you want to go from one city to the next. Like are you buying two batteries to put one battery in your trunk in case one battery runs down? Are the batteries hard or easy to swip, swap out? You know, can you charge your battery quickly? You know what I mean? Or do you have to wait 10 plus hours every time you charge your battery? I got so many questions. So um, this is going to be a review from a guy who don't know anything about electric cars. So if you don't know anything about electric cars, we're going to be going through this experience together. So I'm sure my questions are going to be your questions. Um, my reaction is going to be your reaction. That's what we're going to get today. Thanks again for the, to the folks of Town East Ford for letting me review the Mach-E. Let's get there. Today we have... Keon Cargar. Uh, thank you so much for uh, meeting with us and uh, letting us ask you questions about electric cars. My first time uh, doing the whole electric car thing. So one of my questions is, let's say that I'm going on a long ride. Let's say I'm going from state to state, like from Texas to Chicago. Is it easy for me to like replace the battery itself? No. So your best route to do that would be to charge it at superchargers or fast chargers along the way. So we have a network, an app that Ford uses. You put in your destination where you're coming from, and it'll show you which stops to stop at. And the recommendation I make to for people to go across country and properly do it or efficiently do it is to charge your battery to 80%. That first 80% charges fairly quickly. You can get 80% in 30 minutes using a fast charger. Uh, after that. That, though the last 20% will take an hour and a half Damn! so your best bet is to charge it up to 80% drive it down to about 10 15% stop at the next place charge it back up to 80% that way you're only waiting 30 minutes at each location instead of an hour and a half two hours so what kind of so when you stop at a station it only takes 30 minutes to charge your vehicle 80% using a supercharger now I did see that this car comes with three different chargers right uh, there's a built-in charger which means they come in and build it into your garage and that takes 10 hours to charge your vehicle right yep completely now it looked like it came with two different mobile chargers um, one is like 12 amps one is like 20 something amps something like that one is 15 minutes 15 hours to charge your vehicle the other is like 90 minutes so what's the difference of having two different mobile chargers? It just depends on what station you're using. So certain stations have certain outputs. Uh, you just match the output of whatever station you're at to the correct charger. Okay. And, and the uh, battery is supposed to last how long? Uh, we guarantee ours for 10 years, 100,000 miles, uh, but sh it's hard to say. I'd, I'd say we it obviously lasts a little bit longer than that if we're willing to guarantee it that long. This vehicle is about 15 feet wide uh, looks like this one in particular does have like a this is like a gray metallic color kind of cool looking it looks like the front is covered here but i'm assuming that's because it's protecting the electric items in the front and we're going to pop the hood later <laughs> i do wonder 
Where is the battery located? Um, but I guess we're gonna figure that out later. It's like this is where we charge the vehicle here. And again, the guy said uh, when you stop to charge your car, it's 30 minutes to charge it from 20% back to 100. This is where you charge it here, and uh, I guess you hit this button. It looks like this button here is how you remove that charge here. Love the wheels. Uh, look at the rims on that thing. <laughs> uh, and I think these are um, all weather wheels here. 18 inch, I thought they were 20 inch. I think they're 20 inch. Yeah, 18 inch wheels, okay. Now we're about to open up the trunk here. See how we, uh, okay, you hit a button at the bottom, the trunk opens up. All right, let's see what we have in the trunk here. Looks like you can manually drop the trunk or you can hit that button to make the trunk go down. You could also use the fob to, you know, open and close the the back here Looks like we have a, a 12 volt charger back here i think this comes up oh this comes up okay i guess that's to inflate your wheel here that's what that is and uh i think these are wires cord that you use to charge a vehicle i believe that's what that is here i think that's what we have but that's a lot of trunk space <laughs> What do you think of the trunk space? All right, so I got some more information about the Mach-E that we're gonna test ride today. This here is the Select, Mach-E Select. They have three different types. Um, one we're test riding today is the Select. And uh, here's some information about it. Look like this one has a, a maximum of miles per charge of 224 miles per charge. Um, I, I think it has 266 horsepower. This particular model is uh, $50,000. From what we hear, these are being pre-ordered <laughs> so often that they don't have a whole lot of them on the, um, at the dealership. So if you want this one, I think you have to act quick <laughs> to come and purchase it. All right, this car does have sensors at the bottom here that uh, alerts you for whenever your backup camera can identify you on whether you're closer to something or not. So we have sensors, and I think we have sensors in the rear and in the front, right? We got sensors on the front and in the rear of this car. So I guess not only are you, um, not, not only can it trigger you whether you're gonna hit something behind you, but it can also trigger you if you're gonna hit something in front of you as well. There's cameras in the front of the car, in the back of the car, and here. Jeez, so you can see all around your car. So if somebody run up on you. All right, so we, we, we'll pop the, pop the trunk. <laughs> Gonna see what we have here. What the hell is this? <laughs> Where is everything? <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta get used to this, yo. So, is this your trunk? So the only thing back here is this for your windshield. Nothing else you need to replace back in here. And uh, what is this? Escape button. Oh. Press it. Yeah. Escape button. Okay. All right, now it does look like when the door is closed, it looks like your mirror folds in here. And to open this car, oh, <laughs> when I touched it, when I touched it. So he unlocked the car. When he unlocked it, this uh, mirror opened up. And to open your car, I'm sure you have to have the fob on you. And if you want to put a code in, you can, but you just touch it here. And then the door opens up. <laughs> That's pretty clean. So let's uh, go into the car here. So we're gonna uh, walk into the car here. All right, let me uh, back up my seat here. Man, this is futuristic looking, yeah? Okay, so uh, I have my steering wheel here, my standard items here. Uh, look like I have my uh, lights and everything here. I do have USB chargers under my huge screen here which we're going to go into here in a little bit i have a usb charger here um things i need for parking uh that's what that is there my park brakes and my hazard lights that's here cup holders uh here's my gear to change you know my gears here from park reverse neutral and drive because you just turn it here okay that folds up and uh all right nice little storage compartment in here look like I have another charger here let's see if y'all can see that 
Okay, that's my glove compartment here. Push start here. So let's start the car. Especially because I'm hot. Uh, we got the father. Do a push start here. Wait a minute. I didn't even hear the I didn't hear the car turn on. Now you like muscle cars, right? Yeah, for sure. How that make you feel just now when I turn the car? Hey, I can't I ain't gonna judge it until you get on the road, okay? <laughs> I like to hit a mumble, but hey, we'll see how it comes. <laughs> So it looks like when I turn this car on, I have a screen here in front of my steering wheel here. See if y'all can see that. And I also have a screen here. And uh, this screen looks like by default is gonna have a navigation system on it. So let's go into this screen here to see what all we have here. I have my temperature. Look like I can adjust my temperature and everything here. Look like I can uh, change the temperature of my seat. Um, see what else you have here. My steering wheel. So if I want my steering wheel, huh? Steering wheel heater. Steering wheel heater. My lovely uh, passenger here. <laughs> Are you excited? First electric car. Yeah, yeah. Now that you got the air on in here, I'm really excited. <laughs> uh, what is this over here? Oh, okay, if I want to put on my defroster and everything, that's what this is here. See y'all see that? So the passenger and the driver have their own temperature. Uh, and I guess these are my uh, items for music and entertainment. I do think this matches with uh, Apple Play and uh, Google Play. So it uh, looks like uh, that's what all this, this is for. Of course, I have my full-blown navigation system here. So now I think to go into additional items, I'm going to hit the car. Hit the car here. So it looks like I have three different, three different driving modes. Looks like we got whisper mode. Not sure what whisper mode is. Let's see what that's all about. So whisper mode, um, seamless, calm and quiet, better for snowy conditions. So I guess that's their way of saying this, this is for slow. This is to go slow. <laughs> Engage. I think this is the mode when you, um, just your everyday driving mode, I believe. And then you have unbridled, which I believe is your more aggressive fast mode uh, for my muscle car. Guys, like my nephew in the back seat. Yeah, look like that's what that's for. Now, one pedal drive. What? I'm I'm really not sure what that means, but maybe we can test that out later. I'm assuming that means you're only using one pedal to brake and to accelerate. <laughs> I think how I think I researched it a little bit. So I think when you take your feet off the pedal, it brakes automatically. How y'all feel about that? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know how. So we're gonna test that out a little bit. Um, maybe on a maybe if we can find a place where there's no other cars and uh, propulsion sound. Not sure what that means. Um, but yeah, it looks like I'm not gonna go through everything else. But it looks like we also have uh, camera modes. We were told that we have cameras all around the car, so I'm assuming that's what that is. Driver assistant. I'm pretty sure that's to help um, you stay in lanes because I know we have something called Ford Total 360 or something like that which has the um, the uh, features where it can make sure you're in your lane and everything. Lane I don't assistant. like it. You don't nope. like it? I don't like lane Why not? Assistance. Because it, it, it beeps before you even get over to the other lane. Like, <laughs> you don't even give me a chance to mess up. And parking. Now I wonder if that means that it parallel parks for you. I'm, we'll I'm scared to hit it because I don't want it to do something navigate to parking oh so it helps you find where your nearest parking is maybe and then we got a valet mode um <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure so valet mode uh, i'm not so sure what that is you can keep your car you can keep your key fob or whatever and they just gotta type in the code i think the so code. it looks like valet mode will lock the system using a four digit pin and then we got a settings here and look like I uh, hear everything that comes with your settings. Uh, sound, radio, phone list, charge. I guess you can see how your car is charging. Personal files and driver assistance. So let's, let's go to the camera mode to see how everything looks here. So we're gonna hit camera. Yes, sir. So if you close the doors, it'll look a little more like normal. Close our doors. Yeah, so you see now it has a 360 view of the exterior of the... Wow. Wow, y'all see this? There's a way you can select which uh, which angle. which angle you want to look at. <laughs> so this little wavy line means something's by you? Yes. Okay. So let's click here. 
Wow. If you want to click the, the, the top one. Top one. So I'll show you the, basically, so whenever you're coming out and you're parked, you're parked in, uh, and there's cars on both sides of you, mm -hmm. it helps you see traffic on both Ooh. sides before you exit. So I think that's pretty much the common, you know, the basic things that come on this huge screen. So now let's go for a ride in the car here. We're just in drive. Uh, how do I go back? Exit out of this screen here. All right, let's see what this road's like. All right. This car is quiet. It's Do you feel like you hear an engine? Nothing at all. <laughs> How'd that make you feel, my muscle car uh, nephew back there? It's cool. I ain't, I'm not 100% against electric cars. They're cool, and I, I got dusted by a Tesla, so. In a I race? Got, I got, yeah, I gotta respect it, so. Hey. Okay. I, I thought you would take a right. Right, okay. So far, so good. Um, I love the brakes, um, and I love the control so far. Like, it, it feels like, um, like I have a lot of control with this steering wheel. All right, and we're off. So uh, we're in whisper mode here. What do y'all think so far? I like it. You like it? It's and this is some, and this is somebody <laughs> you a hater. And this is somebody who ride jeeps. So. Oh yeah, I have jeeps. But yeah. it's not electric. Not electric. It does have an SUV feel to it though. Like it has a nice bounce to it. Yeah, nice sturdy density. Nice sturdiness. I'm not you feeling. Take it right, right here as well. Okay. This is a bigger street. Don't okay. Like turn on. Okay. I'm not feeling like when I go over bumps and cracks, I'm not feeling like a lot of shaking. Whisper mode, it does seem like it gives you a gradual excel of speed. Like it, I, I feel like even though I got my foot down on the accelerator, it's gradually increasing in speed. So let's change it to engage. Okay. Engage mode. All right. Um, yeah, that's definitely, so the engage mode, it feels like when I have my foot on the, um, I guess you don't call it gas. <laughs> what do you call it in an electric car? When I have my foot on the accelerator, you're it's more aggressive. For your safety, some feature, okay, so you can't oh. use the camera while you're driving, it looks like. Oh, oh yes you can. Yes, you can. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> So I don't know if you can see this. We got to figure out if this records. If this records, facts. So y'all comment in the comment section on whether this can record. It stops whenever you start driving though. Do what now? It stops, the camera stops when you start when driving. When you start driving, okay. But when you slow down or when you're about to exit, then it'll come back on again. I guess. All right, we're gonna try this one pedal drive. I've never done it before. I don't think anybody in the car have done it before. There's so no, nobody behind us. Nobody behind us, nobody in front of us. Let's get out of try. Oh, as soon as I try it, the car stops. So let's see how this works. Okay, so as I take my foot off the pedal, it breaks. So when I take my foot off the pedal gradually, it'll break gradually. So what happens when you need to slam on the brakes? Just take your foot off the accelerator all together and it'll break, I think. Take it off. What? I ain't about to put us in a... <laughs> But I just don't see how you can lift up quick enough for it to stop. Like see, look. If you need to stop quick. That's still not a quick stop. That's not a quick stop. You might be able to still use the other brake too, though. Oh. Let's see. Let's try. Yeah. Okay. So in when in one pedal, you can still use the other brake, it seems like. So one pedal mode on the street. Uh, let's see how I feel about this. Uh, all right. And let's also put this on unbridled. So uh, walking on the wild side, oh, Unbridled got some kick to it. You'll like this. <laughs> Dang, do y'all feel that acceleration? Yeah. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, I could do this one pedal thing. It's not bad. It takes some getting used to, but uh. Irking and jerking going on. A little bit? Right, you're about to give us a whiplash over here. Uh, okay, all right, well let me take this off one pedal drive. Let's try uh, driver assistance now. Oh, I don't, I don't want this to drive for me or nothing like that. Auto hold. <laughs> I probably shouldn't do that. Because <laughs> it might take over the car, you know what I'm saying? Alright, we're pretty much done now. We can go back to the dealership. Man, it ain't gonna take over the car. <laughs> you don't think so? Nah, it's just gonna assist you. 
Hold I'm on. not sure what auto hold means on driver assistance, but we're about to uh, try it out here. The additional settings. Uh, what does that do? So look, these are all your settings for driver assistance. I have no idea what half this stuff means. Lane keeping system. Let's see what that looks like. That's the one I don't like. It might be better in this car. Also, you can let it know at what, how much does it alert you. Right. Uh, sometimes, all the time, or in the middle. Right. That you're not in your lane. And, and you can do right a, this light coming up. Okay. alert, aid, or alert plus aid. So aid means it's going to get you back in your lane for you. That's what it sounds like. I ain't gonna lie, I like this uh, unbridled mode. <laughs> I can do this. I can feel I can pick tell up. you that you like it. <laughs> Singing around back here. Yeah. Really? Yeah. This unbridled mode, all right. It doesn't, unbridled makes it, um, I think this is the only mode where it doesn't feel like an electric car anymore. Unbridled. Like, it's got some pickup to it. I don't. You'll take a left right here. Make a left. Okay. So, um, Mustang Mach E. I like the way this car rides more than some gas cars that I've ridden. What do you think? I definitely like the way the car rides. My favorite is the bridle. Unbridled. <laughs> Unbri unbridled. Right. Um, it was really good handling. I like all the features I had on the screen. Um, but yeah, I mean, I could do this uh, for the price of 50000 What do y'all think? Uh, comment below let me know I plan to um, test ride other electric vehicles on a scale from 1 to 10 I would give this maybe like a 9 9.5 but I don't I'm not really familiar to, you have to I have nothing to compare to I mean since I don't have anything to compare to I give it a 10 <laughs> 10 out of 10 so on a scale from 1 to 10 what would y'all give this car please come visit uh, town east Ford um, the staff was really, really friendly. They let me test ride this car. Car definitely on my list for purchase because I'm trying to get an electric vehicle. Come check them out. You come check, come test ride the Mach E yourself if you're in the area. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Peace.